there. Welcome back to the Ultrasonic Kit for Arduino tutorial series. Today we'll get to the key part of this series, the Ultrasonic Distance Sensor. The new device is really useful and widely applicable in our daily life. It has two probes. One is to send ultrasonic waves and the other is to receive the waves and transform the time of sending and receiving into a distance, thus detecting the distance between the device and an obstacle. In practice, it is really convenient and functional. To get further information, follow me into the experiment. First, as usual, the experimental phenomenon. We can see the value displayed on the LCD is 195 cm which is the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the ceiling, as detected. Now use a booklet as an obstacle. Place it over the sensor and the distance shown on the LCD is 0 cm. Move it away from the sensor and then the value on the LCD increases. Bring it back closer and the value decreases. Actually, when the distance is larger than 400 cm, which is the maximum distance range for the ultrasonic sensor, the value on the LCD will be zero. In this experiment, we'll use the following components. The sun on the Uno board, a potentiometer, a bird board, an LCD1602, a USB cable, some drummer wires, and an ultrasonic distance sensor. First, we need to know what ultrasonic wave is. It is a kind of mechanical wave with a larger vibrational frequency than sound waves. It is featured with high frequency, short wavelength, light diffraction, and good directivity. Being highly penetrating to solid and liquid, ultrasonic waves are widely applied in fields such as industry, national defense, biomedicine, etc. Back to our device, an ultrasonic sensor is one that transforms ultrasonic signals into electrical signals. It is composed of transmitting sensor, receiving sensor, control unit, and power supply. There are four pins in it, VCC to connect to 5 volts, GND to ground, check to send out pulses, and echo to receive pulses. In this experiment, we are going to apply the ultrasonic sensor in distance measurement with the results shown on an LCD. The transmitter of the sensor sends out ultrasonic waves which will be reflected back after retrieving the detected object. Then the receiver gets the waves. The time period of around travel thus is transformed into a distance which then is shown on LCD1602. The principle is not difficult to understand, so now let's build a circuit. Here, the potentiometer and LCD1602 have been plugged into the breadboard. So first, we connect GND of the Sunfather Uno board to the breadboard. Then hook up K of LCD1602 to GND. Then we connect the LCD with the Uno board. Connect A of LCD1602 to 3.3 volts of the Sunfana Uno. D7 to pin 12. D6 to pin 11. D5 to pin 10 D4 to pin 9 E to pin 8 RW to G and D RS to pin 7 Then hook up OV of the LCD to the middle pin of the pot and 5 volts of the sun from the Uno board to the breadboard
VDD took 5 votes. and VSS to GND. And connect one of the rest pins of the port to GND. Then connect ultrasonic distance sensor. Hookup is VCC to 5 volts. Check to pin 3 of the UNO board, equal to pin 2. And GND to GND of the board. Thus, the circuit is built smoothly. Though it looks a little bit multi wired. Connect the UNO board to the computer with the USB cable. Now open the IDE. As usual, first use include to define the header file. Here we have two header files. Previously, we've learned the liquid crystal statement in lesson 11. So here, the statement is to connect the RS pin of LCD1602 to pin 7, E to pin 8, D4 to pin 9, D5 to pin 10, D6 to pin 11, and D7 to pin 12. Here, use define to hook up the chip pin of the ultrasonic sensor to pin 2 of the Sunfana Uno board. Then equal to pin 3. The maximum distance of the sensor is rated as 500 cm. But here we use another define to set the maximum distance of detection as 400 cm. Create a new pin variable sonar. The basic format of new pin is new pin uint8 trigger pin uint8 equal pin integer max centimeters distance. Here uint8 comes up again. As we've mentioned previously in lesson 8 of the IFID series, uint means an unsigned integer and 8 means 8 bits. So a value in the uint8 format here means an unsigned character type value. Here add a void setup. Then set the board rate of serial monitor as 115,200 boards or bits per second to see pin results. Set the range of the LCD display as two lines and 16 columns. Then add a loop function. Delay 100 milliseconds. The interval between pins is set to be 100 milliseconds, which means there are 10 pins in one second. The minimum interval between pins is 29 milliseconds. Pin here is to calculate the time from pulse sending to receiving. Define a variable mus and assign the time to it. Its unit should be microsecond mus. The mus divided by mus round trip centimeter is a formula to convert the time between pin sending and receiving into a distance. The unit is centimeter. Thus, the distance will be displayed on serial monitor. 
When the value exceeds the maximum distance set, zero will be displayed. Print CM on the serial monitor and add a line feed. Set the cursor at line 0, column 0, where the characters will start to be displayed. Print distance on LCD1602. Set the cursor at line 1, column 0. Here is to leave some spaces after the characters so as to clear previous characters that may still remain. Set the cursor at line 1, column 9. Then print on the LCD the value of the distance converted from the time between pin sending and receiving. Set the cursor at line 1, column 12. Last, print the unit CM. If you want to learn more about the code, check our materials on Get Tutorials Learn page on our website sunfonda.com. So this is the code part for the experiment. Compile and check whether there is any error. Then connect the Sunfonda Uno board with your computer to upload the sketch. Ok, let's check the results. As you can see, the value on the LCD is 195 cm, which is the distance between the sensor and the ceiling. Now place the booklet over the cursor, and the distance shown on the LCD is 0 cm. Move it away from the sensor, and then the value on the LCD increases. Bring it back closer and the value decreases. When the distance is larger than 400 cm as we just said, the value will be zero. This experiment is one for distance detection. For its application, you may use it to detect the distance between the car and an obstacle when backing the car in case of collision. It can also be applied in other situations. Later, we'll give a detailed experiment for its application in car backing. So, keep following our tutorials. For any questions, email us at support at sunfonda.com or come visit our website sunfonda.com to leave comments or messages. Thank you for watching. See you next lesson. Thank you.